Oh, lamentable, regrettable trigger boys. Winchester, New Hampshire, uh, April 29th, uh, 2019. Uh, how does one compose a eulogy uh, for figures unknown to the composer? Uh, figures hated and lampooned in their very hour of cessation, condemned uh, to classifications almost devoid of, of public respect or even uh, the recognition of their sentient rights. Defiant, yet unable to maintain their resistance. Allegedly unwilling in the end to even carry on their living. There is now a little that can be done for the dead. Uh, but we do have uh, uh, the, the capacity of asking questions. Uh, asking questions others have not asked. Or which have been uh, prematurely assumed to have been uh, answered but have not been answered. And most importantly, who were the aggressors? We know that on the evening of Wednesday, March 27th, 2019, uh, one month ago, uh, as of this reading, three allegedly disobedient citizens were reported by police to be in a motel, a motel room at the Quality Inn, just across the interstate from Manchester's Mall of New Hampshire. Uh, the young adult, uh, Brandy Tarantino, Stephen Marshall of Middle Age, uh, Christian Sancier, 26, never to see, 27, and whom I fear uh, may also suffer a, a regretted guessworkish mispronunciation of his name, uh, for which I apologize if it is occurring. Police uh, have claimed, and we have no reason to doubt, uh, that one or more uh, government charges or warrants uh, stood against them uh, for the alleged uh, misuses of substances controlled by parliamentary or regulatory uh, forbiddance, and that the local uh, media has reported all of them devoid, or nearly devoid, of violent criminal record. A local lapdog pressman has referred to Mr. Marshall in writing as a known criminal, as though uh, that were an exceptional characteristic uh, in this empire of, of a hundred thousand forbidden acts. Uh, but, by and large, the reporters have done a respectable job of sticking to fact a fact without uh, uh, prostrating themselves unusually before police accounts. Questioning some official actions and drawing lines uh, for those who wish to perceive them between victimed and victimless offence. We are told by institutions with perhaps very literal dogs in the fight uh, that there was uh, a wanted check upon Mr. Marshall a uh, hardened-looking 50-something. His motel was then approached by agents of the Federal uh, Drug Enforcement Agency and Manchester Police. Uh, press reports have admirably noted an apparent lack uh, not only of violent offences but also of thieving or other such victimful charges or at least convictions on Mr. Mar Mr. Marshall's part. Uh, if there were any of the latter, uh, 15 minutes of start paging, roughly two weeks after his killing, has failed to produce any indications. Uh, this is significant, for it has allowed us to at least uh, form opinions regarding the all-important but underreported, perhaps even unreported, question, uh, who is the initiator of this conflict? The mainstream press reports tell us that the police approached Marshall, uh, that is, uh, that, uh, that it was him they were hunting, that his crime was without a damaged party, and, though it is possible we are missing something, it seems all his previous convictions uh, and charges were victimless. 
primarily drug possession and failures to appear. Of course, uh, some will say, uh, that makes him the guilty creature. Uh, for we know uh, that it is a wonderful thing the police are doing, using uh, electrical shocks and uh, batons, and now bullet cavities and caskets to carry on their glorious work of stopping people uh, from putting things in their own bodies or even from having them in their own pockets. But that is, uh, that is the thought method of the Stockholm Syndromist sympathizing with their overseers, though subject uh, even as bystanders to its misbehaviors. Uh, apparently unwilling to conform themselves to these psychological limitations or history uh, to these to these psychological li uh, limitations or histrionics, uh, the remaining resistors Tarantino and San Seer allegedly maintained a brief defense of the territory to which they had apparently been welcomed, <sighs> to which they had apparently been welcomed. Uh, great apologizings must ensue. Winston has lost his place. Uh, Winston will be back. Remain affixed. Uh, we'll check the apparatus as long as I am... Uh, as I am uh, becalmed, mm, it appears to be functioning. All appears to be well, except for my own state of uncertainty, for which I uh, again uh, offer my apologies. Um, <clears throat> but the, that is the method of Stockholm syndrome is apparently unwilling to conform themselves to psychological limitations. Jibs are going to find. Um, a Tarantino and San Sir allegedly maintained a brief defense of the territory uh, to which they had apparently been uh, welcomed, uh, then accosted by outsiders. Subsequently, they were found dead upon the storming of the accommodation. Of the three, only Mr. San Sir had a reported previous government record of violent crime, a simple assault, as reported by the Laconia Daily Sun. Uh, but not independently confirmed. He had also, according to the son, a charge of, uh, of theft from a vehicle. Ms. Tarantino is reported to have arrests for criminal trespassing, reckless operation of a motor vehicle, and theft by deception, each rateable or potentially rateable as aggressive acts, if uh, truly committed. All three must answer to whatever power they now face if they unnecessarily risked bystander lives with their own gunplay. But so too must police. What are you arresting this man for? You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling, and the list of reasons to move has just been updated. For details, visit freekeen.com.